Hello, mystical light beings, and welcome to Lena Mystic, where we embrace our spiritual awakenings by identifying our personal power and authentic selves. I'm here to help you to decode spiritual signs and synchronicities so that you can get on your authentic path to purpose. Today's reading is going to be done outside once again in this beautiful, almost sacred space. Uh, I like to think of the outdoors and in nature as a sacred space uh, completely because it is just so beautiful so personal out here you know i'm intimately connecting with the nature around me which i think makes the readings even stronger i've got my beautiful crystal here i call this one syngonia which is actually sold on my website if you guys know what my website is you can find it in the description box below i want to use this today to recharge this reading make it very very powerful you know so what is today's reading about I don't know <laughs> I'm telling you guys my guys have just been having me make videos constantly and having me connect to you all um, on a very powerful level I've been pretty charged lately and I'm normally mostly charged when I do readings. some people get drained from readings but they literally charge me and my guides today um, you know I was talking to them and I was like I'm so tired I don't know if I want to do a video today and they were like you get charged when you do what fulfills your purpose when you follow through with your passion and that is giving people readings that is healing others and I reflected and I was like that's true every time that I've healed someone or gave somebody a reading or something I've been pretty recharged unless if I'm tapping into somebody's negative energy but here i am with this beautiful crystal to make sure sorry i just moved the camera but here i am with this beautiful crystal to make sure that i am cleansed and there is no negative energy that i'm tapping into and it's just cleansed recharged energy and pure energy so let's get into this reading let's see what it's about i'm pretty excited to find out what today's is about these bugs are out here going off okay <laughs> they did not come here to play but let's see let's see what we're getting so i wanted to talk about bahati life's video um it says if you build it they will come and i want to talk about how crazy it is that she did that title because that's been my message for the last five months it's literally in my diary like it's crazy i had to reflect i was like is this the exact one yes it is and then i talked to the person who actually was a vessel for me and came to me and gave me that exact message and i'm like girl this message is showing up for me everywhere and i think it's showing up through spirit so guys keep in mind if you build it they will come i agree totally with bahati life i agree totally with that vessel that came to me and gave me that message i agree totally with that um, movie about the the softball field and um he kept getting the message if they if you build it they will come this is crazy that spirit is speaking to us all in the same way and that is how you know it's genuine that's how you know it's pure that's how you know it's god it's source because we're all getting that same message okay some of us can't decode it as well that's why i'm here for you that's why people like bahati life are here for you so what is this message what is this message why are we receiving this message so you know how people say to love others you must first love yourself as well that's very similar to if you build it they will come too i think of that as very similar i say it's very similar because it's saying you must do the work first and then what you want will come and with the ten of cups this is showing up as saying for family when it comes to love and situations like that love yourself first and then you can build the love in your life then love will be attracted to you so the biggest thing you want to do right now, guys, is really imagine what you desire in your life. If it is love, imagine love and imagine what it feels like when you have it. Then you will notice that those things will be attracted to you. So I think of this very similar to manifestation. Figure out what you want, do the work for it, and it will come to you. That's the building part of it. You're creating what you want in your mind and then you're doing the action for it and then you're creating it in your physical realm life okay it starts with imagination first guys it starts with desire first and then the next phase is actually working on it and welcoming it into your life so keep in mind if you build it up in your mind you create it in your mind then you start working towards it your blessings will come you will get what you've been praying for because you've been doing the work because you've been imagining it because you already know how it feels because you're grateful for it that is how you're going to welcome more blessings into your life 
Nine of Swords is about allowing yourself to feel emotions, but also accepting the things that you cannot change and changing the things that you can. Okay, so what things in your life have you been stressing out about uh, that you can't change? Remind yourself that because you can't change it, it's not a worry anymore. You can't worry about it because it cannot be changed. It is not in your power to change it. However, you can change your perception. You can change how you react towards certain things, okay? Nine of Wands is about protecting your energy and not giving it out to just anyone. Protecting your energy because you you think of it as sacred. You have to think of your own energy as sacred or else everyone will grab and pull and take from it. Then we've got the justice card, which is giving me this balance. So I think that our guides are asking us to restore the balance in our lives and to really do things that bring passion and creativity out of us instead of just doing things just because. So there's quite a bit of messages happening right now. I'm not sure which one you guys are going to receive the most or which ones are most in align, uh, alignment with you. But you have to let me know in the comment section below because I'm very interested as to why my guys are having me do these videos more often. Like I'm literally just sitting here doing collective messages and I never imagined myself doing that. Wow, okay, so with us having the Nine of Swords earlier, and then us having this card, don't let your past hold you back, your guides are asking you to let go of something that happened in the past that has been weighing you down, and the way to best let go of it is to go through the healing process, to accept what happened first, and then realize it is in the past, so there's not much that you can do about it now, and however, you can change your perception and how you move forward. So, a lot of you guys may be seeing angel number twos or even fives or ones and nines. These numbers are very powerful because you were supposed to be expecting a powerful change. There's a lot of changes happening in your life. There's a lot of new beginnings. There's a lot of endings. There's a lot of completions. There's a lot of graduations. There's a lot of new marriages. There's a lot of new changes happening in your life and these are for powerful experiences this is for powerful change this is for good positive changes and some of them look very negative to the naked eye but there is a bigger picture that god has planned for you and you're working in alignment with that so if you feel like you've lost anything currently in your life just know that it comes with blessings okay so can you guys fill those blessings you gotta let me know i know that i can i know that some things look a little bleak and i'm like what is happening like, guys, you promised me this, that, and the third, but this isn't looking promising at all. <laughs> and then I realized three months later, it's all in completion. It's all about a, a cycle, and it was all meant to happen the way that it has for me. And then I realized that I'm a lot more blessed than I ever thought that I was. So what else we got going on here? Queen of Springs. So we've got this powerful energy guys just having a queen card is so powerful so queen of spring says brilliant loyal talented friendly believe in yourself have faith in yourself guys have confidence in yourself wonderful people want to help you are you gonna allow those people to help you are you gonna allow them into your life are you gonna allow them to speak light into you everybody has to remember that these people in our lives are messengers some of them are reminding us of negative things that we should not be in contact with some of us are bringing light to our lives okay ask yourself what are the people that you are coming in contact in contact with bringing to your life if you don't feel someone is bringing value into your life take a break from them take a break from them because right now what you need is value you need something that you value to spark your interest in life to spark your creation in life Maintain a balance between home and work life. Some of us become so consumed with either home or work life, and we really do need that balance of, you know, that balance basically creates self-care for us if you think about it like some of us we love our jobs i know i love my job but i also love my family and sometimes i'm working too much or sometimes i'm not working at all and i'm spending all the time with my family but what creates that self-care for me because i love my work life so much and i love my home life so much is i have to have that balance so that i can spark both of those entrants uh, so ask yourself are you sparking all the interests in your life are you catering to the different forms of creativity Creativity that you have in your life how can you focus more and give more love to each of those areas in your life so that you can feel 
joyous and so that you can feel at peace and not disoriented we got another queen card and then we got the angel number four right here so angel number four is about building the foundations uh, setting the pace and building the things in the background so that at the foreground you can have it together and you can have what you desire okay so we're building the foundations right now to create the desired life the ideal life for us so let's go over four of autumn first it says manage your resources wisely this is a big foundational thing okay managing your resources wisely make sure you're budgeting make sure that you're thinking things through before you're just putting them out uh very very much being strategic achieve a balance in how you spend and save money help those out who are less fortunate so how can you even if it's not financially how can you provide assistance to the world how can you bring more light to the world ask yourself that and make sure it's something that you have passion in and that you believe in i know um my father for example he really does not like the fact that there are starving children so that's something that he's passionate about that's something that he wants to bring light to and help out with I Ask yourself what sparks you I am big on helping people to heal because I've had to heal so much in my life from so many different instances so what is something that you're passionate about that you can bring love and light to the world in Queen of Summer says loving comforting emotional and intuitive listen to your heart what is your heart leading you to guys intuitive insights you can trust taking care of others sometimes too much so <laughs> we just talked about how you can help others but make sure that you're also catering to your needs as well it's very important to cater to your needs because if you're not then you're not recharging yourself enough to fulfill your purpose you have to recharge yourself guys it's so important to provide self-care love and compassion to yourself before giving everything that you have out because a lot of us give out emptiness because we don't have much left we don't we don't have anything in our cup and we're just like pouring into someone else's cup but there's nothing coming out and it's a waste of time so make sure that you are pouring into your cup so that you can also share with others if you do not have a cup that is even halfway full then i would not suggest pouring everything out okay but you know some of us do have kids so of course pour as much as you can but also make sure that you're feeding yourself i like to remind people that what happens when you pour what you don't have is you become frustrated and angry and impatient and less compassionate and that is not something you want to be giving to other people so make sure that you are restoring that peace into yourself make sure that you're restoring that cup that you have so that you can pour that restoration into other people's lives you don't want to be putting emptiness into someone else's life just think about that you you want to be giving them peace to give other people peace you must have that peace within yourself as well king of winter is knowledgeable experienced fair-minded unemotional get advice from someone professional and objective public speaking unemotional relationships so a lot of you may be speaking <laughs> do you guys hear that a lot of you guys may be speaking in public whether it be at school, whether it be at a wedding, whether it be at a graduation, wherever it is, a lot of you guys may be speaking in public or listening to a public speaker. And either way, this is an empowering, lovely experience. So embrace that experience. Getting advice from someone per, uh, professional or objective is really good as well because you need someone who can see both sides of the story and who can tell you if you're wrong if you are or not necessarily that you're right but how to make situation a situation better so overall i think today had quite a bit of messages but the biggest message and the biggest theme for me is how to pour into others uh, without giving too much of yourself and that really comes from Pouring into yourself every day, giving yourself that proper self-care, giving yourself that proper love, taking care of yourself because you cannot, it is not healthy to take care of others if you haven't 
provided some form of care for yourself and not always relying on someone else to take care of you a lot of us healers like we're thinking oh we wish someone would heal us like we heal them but if you're a healer that means that you can heal yourself as well so rely on yourself as well i'm not saying don't rely on anybody or don't allow anyone to help you i'm saying as a healer we have the gift to heal ourselves as well so heal yourself work on healing yourself and then you can pour some of that healing into other people as well but constantly we are healing we're healing ourselves and we're healing others so make sure you're constantly pouring that healing energy into yourself i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video um i pray that you found some type of alignment or confirmation from it as well i will see you guys in another video make sure you go ahead and like share subscribe and comment down below see ya